everyone, and welcome back. It's time. I'm heading up to duck camp. This year at duck camp, I'm showing up this morning. My brother Chris, and I'm pretty sure Teresa, who I know is going up there, she'll also be up there this morning. My dad will be coming up this afternoon. Tomorrow, before lunch, both Sarah and Zachary are scheduled to get up there. And then later in the day, Johan and his son will be up there. So all the regular people are up this year for duck camp, which will be nice. As far as the weather goes, earlier, or about a week ago, it was showing rain almost the whole time. But now, today, it's supposed to be 81 degrees up there and then down to you know, the 50s tonight and 78 tomorrow and then it's going to cool down a little bit and there is some chance of rain for Saturday's Turn opener right onto Twin Lakes Drive. and uh, a chance of some rain on Sunday the day that we leave. stop for groceries because I did my shopping yesterday but I will stop up here and top off with fuel I haven't even burned a quarter of a tank but and I need to get ice I don't have any ice yet and it's gonna be warm so I'm gonna need it all fueled up I bought 60 pounds of ice. Let's get up to duck camp. Head east on Main Avenue toward 3rd Street. Lots of leaves on the trees, but I think that there's more, I think more leaves have dropped this year than it was last year. Here we are, my 46th year at duck camp. Somebody else has camped here recently. I see a cross where, see they drove in here. They didn't use the little walking path, but I see people have been in over on Chris's side too. Guess I'm gonna to have to save that, hang it on the wall. <laughs> it's kind of cut down in here nice though. Get the tent set back up in here. Wow, it's so weird. This used to be so, I think I talked about it last year. It was so dense back there because the trees were little that, I mean, it was like a enchanted forest. There was just one trail going through and now over time and you know the little trees get drowned out don't have enough light still have some good wood there to cut up for firewood it's just really open in here now 
Let's go across and see what Chris and Teresa's camp looks like. Go over here and check out where my dad and Zach will be. I think I'll pull that box off the trailer and the canopy, run down and drop off the canoe like I always do, and then we'll get the trailer parked and get backed in there and start setting up camp. It's not going to be too many more years that this tree here that's been the big tree in camp is going to be firewood. Still part of it alive. I mean it could be 10 more years before it completely dies out but there's some holes in there from woodpeckers. There's the playground. I think the water looks a little bit low. You can see where it's been up on the cattails, but I guess we'll see when we get out there, see what it is, if it's rice or... It's always something different every year.
Well, my brother Chris made it up. He's over there mowing their damp spot. Teresa left about 10, so that's going to put her up here 1.30 or 2. I can't remember what time my dad shows up. Get a fire going so I can cook up a burger for lunch. If we get a lot of rain, I'll just flip that kitchen and put it underneath the canopy thing here. It'll stay nice and dry, but for right now it does not it looks good today and good tomorrow.
blowing nice cold air. <laughs> Completely cheating. Yeah, I got here maybe 10, 10.30. Mm -hmm. So I still got a lot of stuff to put in there, but yeah, I got it set up and... Dude, this is handy. Holy yeah, man. I grabbed one of these. Remember we had them from that party? Oh yeah. Yeah, so I decided to throw one in because I, I, now it doesn't sound like it's going to rain much, but, no, but still. Uh, I think it rains so much so on day. But, um, gee, it's hot out. I seen one 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 There'll be one area where it's a whole bunch of them, but then it's over, you know. Really? Yeah. Yep. Short, 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 you know, it's test him, and then he said he got his outhouse, the outhouse off. Oh, he did? And he said he had yeah, stuff, and then he helped him move there some ski trails, because he said there were so many trees down. I can't bet you all them dead balsam are everywhere on those yeah, trails. Yeah, because of that a lot, a lot of storm, you know. Right, right. Not easy. Is it the rest just get here? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes. Huh. Because he had that long detour and stuff. He, was, he said he was at his shop at 4.30, picking up the trailer, and then he went and picked up some stuff. Huh. But it's about four hours for him. Yeah, I left at seven, but... I stopped probably for, for, for an hour at earnings. That's a provocable what it is for me, me also. Is it? Two hours for me. Hour and 23 minutes. Oh, yeah. Are the rates coming up? Yeah, I think she'll be here about 2, he said. Oh. 1.30 or 2. When it's, they're almost going to fly, there'll be a bunch of teal, and they were in there, 
the next morning it got cold, they were gone. Yep, yep. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's different now. Huh? Yeah, it's different now. Chris and I were just talking about that. He said, remember the one time when there was fox, tra fox tracks in the snow right in front of yeah, the yeah. tent there and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it's hot out. It's supposed to be mid 50s tonight, though. It'll feel good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, then it'll be really cold. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the tent is all tarped, and I've got it back right here so I can still, I'd have to push this up farther. But I can get that um, uh, stack from the wood stove to go in there. Boy, that blows out some warm air. I can just shove this right inside the wood stove when I want to do the air conditioner. Now it won't rain at all this weekend, but <laughs> if it does, I'm set up. It's definitely cooler in here. It will help having that tarp over the top because now the sun isn't beating down on the tent. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
My brother Chris said that we got some rain coming through here in a little bit. Just a, not a lot of rain, but glad I got that tarp on. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about waiting until tomorrow. I guess I better look at the radar. I just put those chairs out. The reason I bring a metal chair is because even if it rains out, just wipe it with a paper towel and it's, you know, it's done. But those cloth ones, you gotta wait a while. I'm just gonna charge this thing up with uh, 
my Delta II Max here and then Let's see if I can get the weather to come up. I get one bar here. One bar, but I still have 4G. It says it's 80 degrees. We're under an air quality alert. 17% chance of rain, but... Yeah, they're kind of around us. Huh, we might get a little bit. What is this fucking couch? That double couch. <laughs> Dogs just, love it. That's pretty cool, I actually. I love it. Like, you can sleep on it. You can lay on it. Yep.
every eighth or tenth floor or something yeah. like that, it, it took everything. See, all the steel was exposed. That was the only thing you could see. It's like, yeah, right. I wonder if they have to, if they do that, clear everything out so they can put charges right where beams come together or something. And how do you, how do you know how uh, much is going to blow that up? It's cement you I can see. You know? I, right. I don't know. I mean, this goes around it of what was what was going to happen to the buildings around it, you know, from blowing out windows to, right? to sonic booms and stuff like that. And we were right, <laughs> our, we were like right, like one, like less than a block away. Huh. Was well, where the sun was. With the other shark that we were going to drop the car. There's a grouse up there, Joe. I'm going to go grab my gun. <laughs> Okay, that passenger door right there has a little dent in it, so that would get it fixed. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I bought this new pair of Skechers about a week ago, and Skechers never used to have the memory foam in them. And the memory foam, the reason I wear the Skechers shoes is because I get a really sore back if I don't have real good support or whatever it is I don't get it with them but when I have them the, when they put the memory foam in when I have a day like today when I'm like on my feet I guess with these new shoes anyway it just plain sucks my legs feel so tired so I take this out and I put in an insole like this but I didn't put these in right away and I can just like, why are my legs so tired? <laughs> and I did throw these in, so it's time to get them put in. They never used to glue these in so good, so now sometimes it takes me a while to get the memory foam out. Damn that memory foam. Well, salt shaker. Right. Need, need for the bug assault. What do you use it for? Bug assault. Oh, uh, really? Salt gun. So I have flies. some. There's so many flies. <laughs> oh, I bet you that's fun. I have uh, some sugar, not a lot of it, but. No, I should put, I should get some of those fly strips. Well, I. I need to bring up like four more chairs because no matter where I sit, the smoke seems to follow me. So then I could just move around <laughs> to the different chairs to stay away from it.
I think I'm gonna run over to Chris and Teresa's camp. My dad's over there, I'll hang out there for a little bit. Come back and finish those last two lanterns. Both of those need new mantles in them, so. I'll have to put those on and burn them down. Zach will be up here cool. by lunch tomorrow. So yeah, yep. cool. Sarah said she would. She was gonna maybe come up tonight, but she wouldn't get here till ten or eleven. I told her you might as well, because she'd have to leave right from the uh, farmers market. And I said you might as well just come up in the morning. You know, yeah. I'm not probably even gonna be awake at eleven o'clock at night. You know, yeah. it's like you never know. So <laughs> yeah, that's a big, big feature. I don't think they've been on one that big. It was bad. This is worth about 20 million pounds, and at the end of the little store, a three ninety nine. <laughs> and I thought, who the hell is going to go buy gas? They're ruined. You can see the other gas. Right. <laughs> Even in close. It and would be and bad. Him and the other, and the other dog are like Yeah, the they're buds. buds. Yeah. I was like, there's no way I'm going to sit on that island with these two crackheads together. There's, right. I'm, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. And he's, you know, he's, you know, he had cancer, right? right? Yeah. So God only knows how long he's gonna last, but he's like this best hunter. So yeah, I figured. No uh, wasps too. No, I've been fighting with this one. Name is Mary. And she, she has pet patties over there, and all these dogs are. You're supposed to put one by certain areas, and so if you want to, maybe you're in a region 10, 10 or 20. Right. you got to go talk to all of them. Oh, <laughs> God. I mean, why did we do so many chickens? Was it cheaper? Oh, yeah. Was yeah, it? No, not only, most of it, I don't know if it's cheaper, but, but I just wanted to show everyone the responsibility. Yeah. You know, That's a cool thing. And now all of them okay. are just chickens. <laughs> all the pit was a monkey. No way! He was a little monkey. <laughs> but those kids were so healthy. Yeah. If they only ate, because we ate there, because I remember, if they didn't have. No, he's not. Chunky gets a lump and then he has to take, well, he gets the. These big old pain pills two times a day, Who? but chunky, because oh. he's got a lump right here. Oh. And if you give him Benadryl, it gets smaller without. Throw your stuff on the fire yet? Yeah, yeah I just just I'm building energy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, all they gotta have is a little bit of coal. Yeah, when you come over, we'll push some stuff aside. And push everything. Did you find your fire grate? No, yeah, I never I, looked. Did you, did you look? Just been over there talking with my dad and Chris and Teresa, but it's just starting to get dark, so I, well, I, I need to get this done. The gnats, I have not seen gnats that bad this whole season. They were horrible. Teresa had 100% DEET uh, bug spray. They're still out, they're everywhere, and they were on my arm after I sprayed myself with that. It's surprising that some of these mantles, you know, were up here the whole time last year, survived the trip home and back up here. And they're still good. I'll probably ruin them trying to get this on here. I don't like this, the kind with these things on it. But I use what I got. You have to try to get these mantles opened up before you burn them, burn them down because if you don't, they kind of burn the same shape. All right, let's see. I need a gas cylinder.
turned out pretty good. See how that mantle on the left has a black spot in it? It's because I didn't have it stretched out enough. I mean, it'll still work, but, and that, that might burn out over time. All the lanterns are ready. I could probably start them any time, actually. He's got a good job and he, you know, he's working up in it, so eventually he'll get his own place, but he's afraid that also the very, very large part, you know, they got to keep him because right. it's a strong uh, union now. Yeah. I don't, when was the last time you talked to him? How often do you talk to him? Well, he'll send me something once in a while, like, uh, it's probably Social been, media, though. What? I mean, I don't, I don't do any Maybe a month ago media. he sent me a text or whatever. Maybe two months ago. Yeah, yeah, who's yeah, the coal digger? Yeah, uh, <laughs> and I and that's what I'm saying. Well, I need who's the hole digger? No, with, Hades is yeah, the hole digger. John, because Johnny but come, he's selective. You know, I mean, I've seen them, you know, then they're not very far down the trail. That wasn't at that trail, though. That was somewhere else. It wasn't too far up here. So. Oh, okay. So, yeah. But you said that it looked like it had been mowed. Or did it look like it had been mowed, or it is mowed? When I drove by, it was definitely mowed. I don't know how far up it was mowed. Okay. But past the gate. Okay. So, yeah. Carl and stuff like that, you know, you'll you'll see 
you know, I, I don't know if he's going to do it. He's, he's getting old. He doesn't smell as good as he used to. But we'll bring the little guy, too, and, and watch him follow him to try to learn what, what he does. Right. You know, and if you shoot one time, for, for me at the cabin, I'm still, I'm still making the cabin. I'm still... You know, I have so many trails to clear with the skid steer, and I have, I'm still clearing, you know, trees out and stuff like that. It's really hard to do that when the dogs are there, especially with him, because I'll get in. Well, campfire time is done. making me a little bit of a snack and then it's time for bed. This is what you call half drunk cooking. Ten years ago it would have been fully drunk cooking. <laughs> Okay, everyone, that's it till tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Tomorrow morning at this time, I will already have canoed out and been sitting in my canoe for a little over an hour and a half, and shooting time will have started about five minutes ago. It's humid this morning. Everything just kind of feels damp. It sprinkled some overnight, not a, enough rain to really make everything wet, but it was definitely sprinkling and now it looks like there's an 80% chance of rain tomorrow. It might be a miserable rainy morning going out. I heard some trumpeter swans out there but haven't heard any ducks or seen any ducks flying this morning yet. Just walking back to the tent and I just jumped two grouse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have my gun with me. I would have never seen him anyway. Too many leaves here, but definitely going to do some grouse hunting today. swans but I didn't there was a duck that flew over here and went that way then when I'm walking back this is maybe a half hour ago 
I jumped two growlers <laughs> between the road and the water here. You're kidding. I, you would have seen them because of the leaves, but yeah, one, and then I looked, and all of a sudden, brrr, another one took off. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know? The reefers hit the high rate. You can tell once we get out to the open yeah, part yeah. what it looks like, but Zach said he'll be here at nine by 9.30. He was in Nash, Nash Lock. Oh, he's or whatever. You. He just How does he then j jump up and take two over also? Then? I'm not sure. He just told me that it takes him about three and a half hours, I think is what he said the other day. Does he oh. I always just shut the tailgate to keep animals out, you know. Right, you're right. <laughs> this morning and uh, but she hasn't messaged me back. I just wondering what time she'd be coming up, you know. So it would be later like normal but And you did not bring the generator, right? I didn't. Okay. No. Uh, my big battery already went dead. I put on the fan overnight, but I might charge it with crystals this afternoon. Oh, okay. Or if the sun comes out I could use my solar panel. I got a clothes you can't move around. I don't like that stand. Like and you can't you, see yeah. right or left or behind or. Yeah, it's I mean, good it, when the wind's blowing. Yeah, it is. Yep. I found it hard because you, you know you can only stand up, turn around, and go down the ladder. You can't stand in it. Right. So you're kind of, I don't know, constricted. You should look at that spot that I take Rose camping just up from. Um, I said when you take this thing down, you just yank it. Yeah, just yank it down. Just come on. Well, Zach showed up. Now he just went over to jump off his canoe and then he's going to set up his camp, or him and my dad are. And I think I might go out and try a trail for grouse hunting. I have my solar panel slowly charging up the battery. Oh, I'm going to go walk this trail that I usually walk. I'm just going to leave the camera back here. If I get something, I will show you afterwards. It's going to be another hot one today. I did hear, though, the radio said that it might get kind of windy today, which would make it feel a little bit better. But on my phone, it just says 5 to 10 mile an hour winds. People have been down this one on four-wheeler. I'm gonna run it all the way down to where it wise off and then I'll be back. Yeah, it's well, both this morning. If I talked with that black slow outcome, it'd be very easy to not. Yeah, so it's harder. You gotta go around here. Oh. And... <laughs>
I was going to make instant mashed potatoes, but two hot dogs, a couple of ribs, and vegetable, I think that's going to be plenty. I can save the mashed potatoes. Well, when I was coming out, Chris and Teresa were going in and they jumped a bunch of teal and wood ducks. So for me, I'm heading right exactly in front of the camera. You see that tall tree? That's what I head to in the morning when all I can see is the skyline. And then you can see my point right there and I'll just run right into it. But in the morning, uh, without that landmark, it's hard, especially if it's like, even if it's foggy and you can't see that, <laughs> I feel like you're just kind of going nowhere and all of a sudden it appears. Wind is out of the east and it's supposed to be out of the east tomorrow also which is perfect because then the ducks you know they like to fly into the wind so they're coming from the right going to the left. I see there's some ducks right up on the other side of my point right now. There's more rice this year than there was last year. It was really open last year. Well, I don't have a lot of cattail cover here, so when I get my waders tomorrow, I'll pull in there. The best stuff is going to be right away in the morning when they can't see you very good. I could sit over there, but then you can't see them when they're coming out of the bay. So I always sit over here, but usually there's more cattails. I see a couple of patches of cattails over in here have blown up out it's like a floating bog type thing there two teal just flew in landing right back by where Chris sits right there he would have shot now they're circling around and they kinda go over by where Johan sits I can't see where they went behind that rice. I always like coming out here the day before and just looking at everything and I mean every year it changes and you just get to sit here and watch without all your camouflage clothes on and everything. 
I think I'm gonna head back. There goes a duck right there. Another teal. Down here, I guess. Zach just came over and borrowed the splitting maul. He was over there with the chainsaw cutting some wood for their fire. Ah, oh, see, I want to put a full one. I think I'm just going to get full ones tonight. I think I'll do full ones for these three, and then the other two that I have, I can use the partials. I don't think this one burned out last night. I know this one was out. Well, Sarah should be here any minute. Actually, she should have been here by now. I have the EcoFlow battery plugged into the generator, and it really taxes the generator, but it has a fast charge, which does it in one hour, and it has a slow charge that does it in five hours. So we just left it on the fast charge and see what happens. I think I have most of the duck hunting stuff ready, my stuff for sure, and a bunch of Sarah's stuff also because it's just going to be miserable in the morning. That yeah, must be her. Did you really? Did you put any birch bark on there or anything? <laughs> All of a sudden, 
be all up to the airport. <laughs> You know, we're, 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 we're fond of today's from television, that's all old, old stuff in the, the 30s and 40s, and you can watch the Cowboys, the Roy Rogers, the you know, they Roy Rodgers were shooting off the fight. They, 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 the hat never fell off. <laughs> they, they, they six shoot over the guns, but today they could shoot all day long. <laughs> Yeah, it did cool down the last 20 minutes or so. Oh, I saw two grouse on the way. Well, Sarah and Zach went down and canoed out to check out their spot for duck hunting tomorrow morning felt a couple of drops. There was like these blobs coming up of rain, but it looked like it was kind of going to split around us. So I don't think we're going to get too much tonight, but right now it's about five, it's 528, so about 530. Uh, let's see, 530, so 12 hours from now, I will have been out in that uh, blind for probably 45 minutes. I want to get some dry wood for starting fires or for in that wood stove because now it's like a 91% chance of 0.8 something inches of rain tomorrow and today got to like 77. Tonight it's going to get down to 58, yeah, 58 or 55 and tomorrow's high is only 64. So if it's raining out tomorrow and 64 we're going to want that wood stove going for at least some of the time in the tent. That's going to be miserable and damp and as, as uh, rotten as it been warm the last couple of days, it'll be just the opposite and be damp and cold. Well, we were, last year I guess we were one point down and then um, when we went out there, there's the guy coming back, he was rowing his boat because his engine was having troubles. So then we went to the spot last year that we had good luck at, but it looked like he might have made a spot there. So now we're going even further out, a little way out on, the, on yeah. the first group where the cattails come out, because we want to get them before anybody else gets them. Yeah. What about the people that are always on the point? Is that where you're going? That's the one, that, that's what he's talking about, where someone has been in there and like pushed it. Last out. year they weren't in there and we were able to sit there. Oh, you know yeah. what, if you're paying with you, they're super bad and you're like, you're going, because that's a raise of the paddle from that one to the next one. Mm -hmm. You know, you're yeah. kind of going across. At least yeah. for what I, I can remember. Yep. Yeah, well, we just went out there, too, so right. it was a ways after that yeah. to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. At least you guys have it. What I'm doing now is with all this rain coming, this tent sits like this. I've got everything tarped except for where the wood stove is, but any water that comes down here can pool right here and then run down. So if I put a vice grip on here, put a string to pull it down, everything runs out here and it'll be a just, you know, just a good thing to cautiously do because they just said on the radio that parts of central Minnesota could get up to five or six inches of spray. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we're going to get that much here, but localized, you never know if you're going to get a storm over you. It's like, you better be prepared first, because being in a tent with that much rain, I don't care how prepared you are, it's still going to be a mess.
Do you still have the propane going on there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just shaking, wanting to get out there. And so I would put the handle down, I'd lift it up, and boom, he'd run into the door. <laughs> but I would, I would open the door, and he'd bust his ass out there. These little holes all over in the yard. Oh my god. Now he goes to every one of those holes. He sits on the porch and he watches. And pretty soon things will pop its head up. Because right now, this time of year, it's, it'll, it'll go and it'll eat some grass or whatever, and then it'll grab a whole bunch of dead grass, and then it'll run down a hole. I'm sure it's making a nest for the winter. All right. He sits there and he watches. He just sits there. Okay. What? Sometimes I don't get off. <laughs> no, I I don't think I ever. You saw it, it was a buck, and then you tried to get your gun out, but it saw no, you and took off. I don't think I ever so you shot weren't ready. anything. No. no, I was reading. I looked up, and then it, it was, was right there. I'm like, <laughs> so. So she said, you need to go get that fixed. Yep. And and I have been just totally putting it off. Yep. But then now when this comes up and then now leaving the neck, it's like, well, we gotta watch that deductible. Yeah. You know, so yeah. yeah, I was wondering what got you to finally go in. I was like, is it like a bad experience? Or were you just like, man, this is not normal. I should maybe like do something about it. Never in the Yeah. Or when it a couple minutes ago when the rain counter I thought for what here it comes. There's some more stuff that's kind of popping up on radar, but the big stuff doesn't happen until tomorrow about 8. This evening? Tomorrow morning. Oh, tomorrow, is that right? That's when it kind of starts picking up and <clears throat> stuff. And then by tomorrow night at 8 o'clock is when it's really going to start raining. Oh. So there'll be some light rain off and on tomorrow. Yeah. They made it before, yeah, but he wasn't, like, there, really, right. so, yeah. Huh. That was sad, and then after, like, everything, because, like, it was kind of interesting, because one thing that was interesting is, like, David recorded this conversation um, when the doctor came in the room, so that was kind of interesting, because, it, man, I gotta make my bed yet. Oh, yeah. And Melissa bought me this, but I don't use this. Heated, what? heated sleeping bag. Oh, we need uh, to go to our Malaysia duck hunt after that. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little battery pack. Uh -huh. Yep, and you can do just your feet, or you can do low, or do the higher one. It does everything. So uh -huh. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, with that blue that you folded it up with the blue thing inside. Oh yeah, I think you're right. Because I, the only one was there, and it's like, well, I don't know where the other one is. I'm pretty sure I did. I even remembered a pillow this time. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> I brought two. And if Casey did one, they're really nice. But in the video, I said, mine. <laughs> so, that one goes up tomorrow. I posted it. That thing is old. It is. But it only gets opened up once a year, so. Yep.
really good. I can pull them logs back. It's too probably it's too much fire. Yeah. Perfectly. What did you smoke in the smoker? Um, I did. I tried chicken thighs on my own, which turned out pretty good. And then uh, for her recipe, I did a pork shoulder. Oh, you pork shoulder! You can't go wrong. Yep, it turned out like perfect. I cooked a pork shoulder on the. It took like. It took hours, and then when it got to. I think it was 160 or, or 160 whatever. I wrapped it in foil, put it back on, oh, mm -hmm. and left it there until it got to 203. Then I pulled it. Okay. Because that's yeah. what you should do. And for <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, with that one, it like the high sink goes 225, and so the last like 10 or 20 degrees, like the very last part, is taking forever. Because it can't go any higher to like. Right, and if you get to that one and you wrap it, then it goes into a stall. It's yeah. called, and it sits there forever. But if you can hold out and wait and wait, it's like pulled pork. It just okay. It's so good. What I ended up doing, because it was like really late at that point, I put the oven a little bit warmer. I don't remember. It wasn't that much higher. And then I just put the took it out of the smoker. It's been in there for like 12 hours or something. And then I put it in the um, oven, and then. It finished in like an hour after yeah, that. Yeah. And it was still really good. I bet it so. was really good. Yeah. yeah. Man, like this, I don't know how fast they'll cook. They'll probably cook pretty fast. Probably. How's Brandon been doing? Yeah, he's been doing better. He's walking around oh, with no cane usually unless he goes to the hospital and uh, no crutches for a long time. So wait, is his leg working again? Yeah, he can step on it now and stuff after that surgery and then... Uh, oh, I didn't even you know, know he had surgery. Yeah, he had three surgeries on his leg. And, then... and was it like just to get the nerve working again or...? Yeah, but now he... That's a good way to do a chuck roast right there. Yeah. Just cut it up into strips and... Up there, yep. and then this. you've got the mixed vegetables. Because I remember the other year, one of the other years or two, you're like, you can't get any red tomatoes. Yeah, everybody up there, even in Ely, are getting a ton of them because of the summer. Right now. He'll be gone in the morning. Really? He's not even going to watch No, he said he didn't think he would. Okay. So you saw everybody? Mm -hmm. Spent two nights. Two nights. Yeah, that's all. 
<laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. At least the battery's all charged up, but I don't have any questions. Do you want to do your phone? There's a little battery that can be Yeah, but my phone doesn't get any service. Oh, doesn't it? No, I never ever get service. Yes, sir, for sure. I feel like that. Uh, that thing is pretty computer here. It does kind of feel like a while, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. Tomorrow's the Minnesota 2023 duck hunting opener. Sarah, Sarah, it's four o'clock. It's time to wake up. Sarah, it's 4.15. It's time to wake up.
jacket. It's definitely still a 99% chance of 0 0.90 inches. I think it's like 7 or 8 of them. It's kind of nice that it's not right now. Yeah. All right, good luck. Yep. I'm heading out. Hope we hope we get some shooting. Good morning everybody. Just tossing out two decoys this morning. It's 60, what was it, 65 degrees, 64 degrees maybe. Right now it's 455. Got an east wind. We can shoot at 634. I'll check that. It might be 633. Rain's coming. Well, Jack and Johan went over to where they usually sit and there's somebody sitting there. That's happened to me here before. So now they have to find a different spot. If they get up their ways, they can wait for Zachary and Sarah and follow them out. That's Sarah and Zach. That's a nice bright light. Sunrise is at 7.05, so we can shoot at 6.35. With the water being low, the people that are upriver couldn't use their boat to get out, so they've come out in canoes, and there's a lot more people hunting pretty close here, I think. Wind is out of the east southeast.
definitely a slow opening morning. Chris probably filled out in his bay over there. He had some good shooting and I saw some that landed right down in his decoys. Just not that many ducks. I shot five shells and there was only one duck that I thought I should have probably hit. You know, I mean, I there was none of them or like, this is for sure my duck. Most of them were when it was still pretty dark out and they would like be right on top of me and <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't know if how many, how much shooting Johan and Jack got or Sarah and Zachary either. I mean, there was some shooting up there, but I don't know who was who. The people that were sitting where Johan usually sits over there, they did get some shooting and they were just picking up their decoys, so they must be done. I mean, there's nothing flying now. We're only hour and 15 minutes into the season. Even out on the big lake there, you know, usually there's a lot more shooting than there was this morning. I don't think I saw any ringbills either. I don't think that they're down yet. We'll have to see what Chris shot. I saw teal and I saw wood duck. And then a couple of trumpeter swans. Still supposed to get an inch of rain today. We were lucky that it wasn't here. I thought it was going to be just miserable this morning. And as far as rain goes, it wasn't. As far as a lot of ducks flying around, it was. Either Johan and Jack or I don't think it's Sarah on them. Anyway, they must be jump shooting on the other side of the uh, island. That tree is on an island and then it's water over to the boat landing because that group of uh, wood ducks came out and I dropped one. The worst part is every duck comes from my left or my right. Nothing ever comes right down the middle and you can see right up into the canoe <laughs> that way. So they start veering off early because they can see me. Starting to get a little bit of rain coming down. But I usually stay here until Zach and Sarah come over. I can see Zach and Sarah coming in kind of the back way. Let's see if we can get them. I don't know if it'll focus with those. There we go. Where did you guys end up sitting? Oh man. <laughs> um, well, we. There's a lot of people over there today. There's a lot so of people. We're gonna go all the way down, but then there's the people that are normally on their point, and there is lights further on, and we were unsure if they were on that next point. Yeah. So we ended up backtracking, but we ended up in between the other people. And where we normally sit, there's a group of cattails, but the rice is so high, 
we didn't know where we were. Really? <laughs> we just tucked in there, and then once it got light, we moved kind of to where we normally are, but then we ended up moving around the edge because they're flying a little bit behind us. They were coming behind me today, too. It was weird. I didn't, the first hour, I think I shot three shells. Yeah, it wasn't that And much. then there was like, Johan and them jumped in here, and I shot three times, and then I got one. I, I don't know if it landed right over there. Really? Yeah, so there's no How about you? Anything? Nothing. That was a slow opener. Yeah. And Dude, was Johan sitting right there? Did they get up No, there? there was other people there. Okay, because, yeah. So then he went up there, and I told him to go sit. I told him where you guys were going to sit. And so you might have went by him even. Oh. If, I don't know Did where. Come up before us? Yeah. They were so sitting. they were across from in normal because we couldn't really sit in our normal spot even if we would have made it because there's people straight across from us so maybe that was johan and could have been i, I don't know yeah because he you know I mean, he's been up there but never in the dark and i said well you could wait for you guys but you didn't know when because yeah. i'm sitting here and they, somebody paddled right over to me and it's like <laughs> you know and yeah. then but i didn't they had red lights on where johan sits that was the white truck Oh. And uh, but I don't see red. I didn't see any lights. Yeah. I wonder if that's the person that came and talked to Chris. Or I don't know. I mean, Chris would know what vehicle he was driving. Yeah. So because yeah. Chris said they wanted to hunt in the bay, and Chris told him like there's not really any room in the bay. But... Right. But also though there was shells. Somebody had sat there for special teal or something. I don't know or youth, because there was it was matted down there, and there was shells in the water. Teresa said. <laughs> so it's hard to say if they're the same people or what, but. Chris and Teresa still out, or did they have it back? No, I think Chris did, okay. but I think Teresa only shot a couple times, and then they were over there, and they shot once, and they were training with the dog. He told me they were going to do that, so. But yeah, otherwise it was dead. I wouldn't have even, if Johan and them, I mean, there must have been 15 of them in there oh. that when they came through, and I heard them shoot like twice, and then they came, and I just waited, and, and I, like I said, I dropped one, but instead of going from one to another one, I just kept shooting at the one, you know? Oh. And um, then when the second group came, that was sky busting, but I still tried. Like, it was like, right, maybe, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Extre All right, well, I'm not going to stay out here much longer. I'm going to come and head back in. I thought it was starting to rain a little bit there, and it was like, oh, I should probably go, but I always wait for you guys. And then yeah. I was just hoping maybe a goose would fly by, but yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. But I haven't heard any boats come back in yet. No. So. But there wasn't too many that went out. So right. Nice All right, we'll see you back there in a little bit. Throw some wood on the fire. Well, I got back here to duck camp and uh, 
started the wood stove. I had to transfer files off of SD cards, so I keep everything nice and in order. Started the fire out here. So far the rain has kind of been missing us, but we just went through a, a, a patch where it was raining. We're not going to be able to avoid it all day, but the fact that it's 11.30 right now and it hasn't been raining the entire time is kind of nice. Phone was down at 22%, so I have it on. I have my charge with the fast charge, and now it was up to 60 or whatever. I did use some lighter fluid on there, and then I put a bunch of birch bark, and I just put a bunch more birch bark in there. Yeah, we kind of dodged that one. We just got that little one that went through. There's the cold front down or warm front with a cold front, I suppose. But then, so what is our... Zachary is out finding some wood. He didn't have any real good dry wood here. Nothing that was really hard. He was having a hard time getting a good bed of coals. Zach and Sarah and I just took a drive and did like a 10 mile loop looking for grouse, just looking at the trails because some they've mowed some new ones and just checking things out because it's such a rotten day. Found a sweet little honey hole though where beavers have a little spot of water. We walked in, probably should have walked in there with our guns. It wasn't that far off the road. I maybe, I don't know, 50 yards, but you would never see it in the summertime. And Zach was, driving earlier and said it was kind of open back there so we checked it out we walked in there there was probably eight or ten ducks that took up off out of there and there's a big beaver house on the far side so Zach said later on he might walk out there put some waders on and yeah there was two mallards and then I don't know six or eight wood ducks that took off out of there it's pretty neat
you know, I've backed into the spot with a lot of different trucks. And this one's definitely the hardest one. <laughs> Sarah and Zach are going to drive down to that little honey hole and walk in there. Sarah has waders on. Zach has his rubber boots. And check it out better, see if there's any ducks. And we looked on a map. It looks like there's a little hole of water behind it also. But it's been such a dry year, you don't know if there's water in that one now or not. You know, but right. we'll have to wait and see. Right. And they flew, there's like five or six of them. And I swung my gun up, but I thought they were too far away. So then we sat there because they flew up and they went over. I said, okay, we'll wait. So we're sitting there waiting forever. Finally, all right, they're not coming back. So we get up. We said, let's go check a little bit further. We go check a little further. Another group of ducks had been sitting there the whole time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Jumped up. So they popped up. We're like, bah, 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 you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't get nothing. I thought I heard just one shot. I didn't even hardly hear it. We shot. Really? Oh, oh I bet you I was, I was using the chainsaw. Oh, oh that's yeah. why. Yeah, yeah. we, we unloaded on them. And you didn't get, <laughs> we didn't get nothing. No. Ballers or woodies. They were dark with like a color on the wing. Is that, I don't know, maybe teal. I don't know. They seem bigger than could that. Could have been teal. That could have been mallard too. A female mallard would be just a darker, but usually brown with blue on the wing. Okay, it could so. have been because they look bigger than teal to me. But, but wow. then, uh, yeah. so then they're all on that one side because there's one pocket and then there's a little couple of like chunks of whatever. There's a second pocket and they're just sitting in that little second pocket. The whole time we're both standing there completely silent watching. Because the wind 
was coming this way across, so if they're going to land, they're land right there in front of us. If you would have had binoculars, would you have seen them, or were they kind of hiding behind a log or something? They were hiding. hiding. We, yeah, it's, we didn't, like, I didn't even know that that pocket was there. I if see. I would have known, we could have, like, snuck over, you know, but. That's exciting, though. Yeah, it was cool. It was cool little spot. So now we got it figured out. When you're driving in the road curves right there, you just pull off right at the road curve. And then you go in the woods, and there's a big old tree that's broken off, like this one. You can see it, because it's kind of. You can see, you walk down there, then there's a, um, well, it's kind of tree, was that a popple tree that's hanging out like this that the beaver's been chewing on, but it's green. You walk right out there, and that popple tree is hanging over, and a beaver's walked and pushed everything down. Oh, really? Right there, and you can walk in, and you just go straight out, and there's both pockets. Huh. So. Cool. Maybe tomorrow morning we're going to sneak out there quick, <laughs> if we have time. All right, and see what's going on, yeah. Chris said if it's raining really hard, he doesn't even know if he's going to go out. Oh, really? It's like we always go out even if it's raining. Yeah. It's crap. You don't got to stay an hour. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so. for Sunday, yeah. But, no, oh, that's cool. I'm glad you guys seen some. It was fun. It was fun sneaking out there. <laughs> We're, like, trying to be quiet. It's like, <laughs> We crossed the, the mud gully and my shoe got stuck and Sarah got stuck. We're like this. The rice or whatever is like this. We're like... <laughs> <laughs> that's how a lot of the hunting is at first. <laughs> Actually, she didn't text me much during the day. Just she was texting me, and then all of a sudden she disappeared for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then she texted me back. I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> My little cook stove. I got a whole bag of them. They aren't really good ones. If you want a really good, like a freezer Ziploc, they're in my cook box. But if you just need a ba uh, bag, you know, I need to put some. I found some chicken in the woods. Oh, you did? Yep. Where at? Down the right, right before the swamp. If it was high, I had to turn my gun up the butt of my gun and I knocked a bunch of it off. And then uh, we weren't sure because it looked a little different, but we just looked it up and that's what it is. Really? Yeah, big... Try it just to make sure. No. You said it's not poisonous, but no, you know if it's bitter, it then you know. It smells like just delicious mushrooms cooking. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was so like, exciting. fuck! Right. If Max was here, I'd just give him a piece of This much at the top corner, there's a log up there, and it won't, it wouldn't go in there. So I had to cut a little piece of the ceiling out, and I just shoved it in there. Yeah. Well. And then What? Well, I won't anymore. Maybe just two. No, I'm not. <laughs> and then I'll fall down again and get in trouble. I don't think the stove is even... It's hot in there. I know it's hot in there, but... It is, it is going. Okay, you know me. I can see the heat wave pouring yeah. out of the top. See? And I I can. I, the That's why we burnt it. <laughs> we got mad. And then, and then I'm trying to do it, and a piece of it flips up and hit me in the head. Yes, and, uh, and he got really mad. Oh, it like crumpled the whole thing up. <laughs> Throw it on the fire. Fuck you. And then it was like, that was odd. It they had to have changed that. Right. Maybe so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm sorry. So I was, uh, oh, years ago, I mean, you might have been up here and Calvin Kachowski came up. You had to come. Mm -hmm. And he came up here and then, you know, then we just walked every part. I don't know how many that way. Like, the second it's time, it was farther away. Yep. Yeah, like I still that. shot at him, but it was definitely. Yeah. yeah. You know. And that's the same spot where Jack and I were this afternoon. And we got two. Well, we only saw him the one, but... If you come over this way... If you it's were like Dad was saying yesterday. Where are you he going? Said, to he said, uh... 
Sarah's coming up on Highway 64 or whatever. Do you have any, well, which way would she turn to get here? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's a scary time. I mean, there's, um, I was going to go to Derek's place with something to eat, but you know, like that. Huh. That's the way I love to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes it so hard that you bought it after you had the she had the cherries. Then the next to come around and the fruit truck came and you got another flat of cherries. Unless you couldn't find the cherries. Oh, and no. the next you had to buy another one. Oh, <laughs> oh, I so have to That's how it works at our house. Oh, <laughs> God, that's man. Anything. She bought a thing the other day that well, the rain has started once again, so the party is cut a little short so we can get some pork steaks cooked up. Make sure we get Johnny seasoning on there. Yeah, that sounds good. I like that stuff. Wow, they're huge. morning when you're like good luck and I'm like yep I know you were like <laughs> I was like oh gosh <laughs> I messed up you had the problems on here oh yep yep this year and then mom was like oh of course they're the best. <laughs> <laughs> she probably hasn't had one in years. I don't think so. I have made it. She's like, mm, or she made it or something. Whoever made it, she just thought it looked like so good. It's <laughs> like, mm. They are good. Yeah. Missing all the dad stuff, I see. <laughs> and she's like, make sure you get ducks because I love ducks. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, I don't exactly know where the fill line is, so I just guess. <laughs> well, that's how we get some drug parts. What is it? Salamander. Just sitting on a chunk of wood. Oh, oh weird. Yeah, he found one this morning. I put it in a bottle, and now there's two of them. Huh? Put it in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. What is it called? Let's see. It's called a blue spotted salamander. Huh? Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Looks like good walleye. <laughs> <laughs> Those baits, don't they? I bet. So close. Just like. Just a few more minutes. Not even, I don't think. It's just like a tiny bit.
like, yeah. No, it's not going to be ready for me. I will not be ready for tomorrow. I will be just out of here. <laughs> Because I know the Lord's not taking me, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> The big battery too, so it's not all mine. It's all right. You just need a couple of them. Oh, big one. Wow. That's a lot. And then I have a big one. Wow. I can come move this here so you don't even get this in the way. Yeah. You know, but if it's just lightly landing, you know, like an inch an hour, I mean, it will go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it was like this, I'd be like, I'm going to wait until it's closer. Oh, the skylight? The skylight, yeah. It's like in that one room that was also a door outside. It's like... Well, we're brushing our teeth now. Turned this on for the heat tonight. It's nice in here. <laughs> I got it hooked up to the big battery. Put it on the eco mode, so it's set on 68, and right now it's 73.6 in here. Good morning everybody. It rained the whole entire night. I woke up at 3 o'clock, it was still raining, and then now it slowly stopped. There's some more coming, but I think we got a little bit of time here where it might be dry. Sarah, it's 4.15. Happy birthday! It's time to get up. You survived? <laughs> that was a pretty rainy night, wasn't it? Uh, windy. Couple yeah, it was. Times there I... Holy man, the wind's really coming. <laughs> yeah, it was. More this morning. Like, I woke up at like 2. I don't know why. And, um... 
I mean, I went back to sleep again until 3, but I don't know if it got really windy then, but it was really pouring still until like 3 o'clock. It was raining pretty hard. I woke up at midnight or 1, 1.30, and the tarp was flopping around. I went outside. It blew so hard that both stakes that I had pulled out. So really? I, so I went and had to restake them now. And now. Wow. <laughs> So you're out there at 1.30 in the rain, pushing the stakes in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. When I look, it looks like it's coming back up again. You know, the green is going away. And, uh, and now with the wind, it will dry things out a little bit, too. I mean, we don't have to be over that long. Yeah. 4.30. I can look out. Well, I made it out here. Once you get past that point, that wind <laughs> was just whipping. But I'm out here, I got my light on so that when Chris, I think Chris is coming out, Johan will come out, Teresa's not coming out, uh, Zach and Sarah are gonna be coming out. So I've got my light going, so when they come out to wherever they go, they use this as kind of like a lighthouse beacon to know where they're at. They probably don't need it, but I like to have it anyway. One hour and seven minutes till shooting time. I don't expect there to be that many ducks today. Not many people going out.
I think Chris is getting ready to go and I can see Sarah and Zach coming around over here. What a slow morning. Was it? Yeah. There wasn't much shooting. It was slow today. Yeah. Oh, did you? You cheated and drove down this morning? <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh, that's a really nice grouse. Is it? Yeah, where are you, are you walking back there or are you just sitting here and it... No, I walked, look, I walked the whole, all the way to the, till I couldn't walk any farther. But I, I jumped it, it was right on the edge, you know, because I was looking for ducks. Right. I'm actually going to buy some clean stuff. Yeah, my uh, trailer fell off the block. I hate cleaning up. Yeah. It's like the worst part. Setting up sucks too good. It does. Normally you have it right side up. Yeah, but then I put stuff in it. If I don't have to put stuff in it, it's better like this because then if it rains, it doesn't get full on. It's way down here either. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Not a whole lot of ducks. Big changes in the weather, but that's why we call it duck camp and not duck hunting. Just said my goodbyes to everybody. 
Zach and Sarah will be following behind me for part of the way and then we all go our separate ways. I will see you guys on the next video.